to force us to march to the ghetto. The ghetto was in the Jewish section of the town, which was on the other side of the town. Were your neighbors aware of what was going on? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Those very neighbors in whose courtyard I played in as a child, those very neighbors who were guests at my mother's dining room table months before, peeked through the windows and turned their faces. And as I look back now, strange that it pains me so much. That track through the main street in the middle of the street, driven like cattle, with the valises, with the baggages, with my little nieces, with the little infant who was five, six weeks old, being driven to that corso where my, ha my father had a big business where people would come to buy, would tip their hat and say, how do you do, Mr. Fishman? And turn to my mother and say, how are you? Not Chagos Asonyom, which is a very respectful way to address a lady in Hungarian. How are you, my lady? These very people who used to watch me bicycle through town and say, Babuka, you have the first girl's bicycle, because they never saw a girl's bicycle, you know, without, without a handbar. These neighbors who used to pinch my cheek when I was a little girl, they stood and watched, stony-faced, as we were driven to this town with the Hungarian gendarmes using truncheons on old people who couldn't walk fast enough. It was so shameful, so humiliating. But I know now that the shame was theirs, not ours. But I didn't know it then. And so we got to the ghetto. 